hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we're going to be talking about skin smoothing with actions and if you are new to this channel don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and also turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video And we are going to be using two actions in this video. We'll be using the frequency separation actions and we'll also be using the frequency separation for 8 bits. And you can get these actions in Dirty Studio Magic Retouching Pack. And the first thing you have to do now is to press Ctrl J on your keyboard or you right click on the background layer. Just right click and select duplicate layer. Then for this duplicate layer, we are just going to hit okay now the next thing you have to do is to click on the frequency separation for 8 bit so just click on this frequency separation 8 bit and just play it and once you play it it's not going to take you more than a second all you have to do is to go to windows then you select actions and you will see that this actions is going to come out let's just turn it off and select our brush then i will start painting on this skin and before I start editing this photo, I want to share with you a great way to improve your skills. I've been wanting to get better at video editing and I found a fantastic resource that helped me a lot. Skillshare is an amazing online community where you can learn from experts in many creative fields. And they have thousands of classes on things like photography, graphic designs and more. What I like about Skillshare is that it is made for people like us who want to learn new things and get better at what we love. They also have something called learning paths, which help you master a specific skill by taking a series of classes. So if you want to improve your skills or try something new, I recommend you check out Skillshare by clicking the link in the description of this video to join the platform. And the first 500 people to use my link in the description of this video will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare and I want to say a very big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and when I start painting on this skin just watch what is happening you can see that the skin is becoming more better and the skin is becoming more great let's look at the before and the after this is the before and this is the after you can see how the skin is looking so we are going to go up now and apply it at this section once I'm done with her head, let's go to the next section of her face. So I'm just going to apply it a little at this place. And you can see that this place is now looking better. Once I'm done, I'm just going to apply it at this area. And let's apply it a little bit. And also below her lips. And I think that the face is now looking okay. The next thing you have to do is to apply the skin smoothing below on her neck. You can apply it at this place also. If you make a mistake while applying this effect to the skin, all you have to do is to make sure your foreground color is black. If your foreground color is black, let me show you what I'm talking about. If your foreground color is black, let's say you apply this frequency separation at this area and you want to remove it once the foreground color is black just paint on that area and you will see that it is going to remove but if you want to apply it back to that area just make sure your foreground color is white so click on this area and you will see that the foreground color is going to be changing to black or white or you press x on your keyboard in order to change it when we apply this frequency separation for 8 bit it is helping us to make the skin look better but it is not giving us that smooth result that we need you can see that this frequency separation for 8 bit will help to smooth the skin it will help to make the skin look better but it won't smooth the skin for you it will just make the skin to look good when you are done if the skin is not looking great like if it is not the results you want that is when you can then apply this other frequency separation action you can see that is when you can add it now i want to explain something about this frequency separation action for you 
but I will be editing why I'm explaining this. When you are using your frequency separation action and it's giving you, let's say, black results, let me show you what I mean by dark results. If we double click on this Gaussian blur and we increase it, let's increase it to be 815. And let's say you are editing and it's giving you this kind of black results. You can see what I'm talking about. All you have to do is to double click on this Gaussian blur area. Then you reduce the Gaussian blur. You can see that if you reduce the Gaussian blur, the effect is going to reduce. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I increase the size and I reduce the Gaussian blur, you can see that the skin is going to change. Now, this frequency separation for 8-bit is only good for high-quality images like this image I'm working on. You can see that this image has a very good and nice quality. So if you are using a frequency separation for 8-bit, you can use it for a photo like this that have a very good and great quality. But if you are editing a smartphone image and you want to do, let's say you want to do skin smoothing or you want to edit the skin, I won't advise you use this frequency separation for 8-bit. You can use this frequency separation action, this other frequency separation action, or you can just go to your action area and click on basic skin smoothing action. You can use the basic skin smoothing action if you are editing a smartphone camera photo, let's say a photo that have less quality than a digital camera photo. So what I'm just going to do is to merge all these layers together. I'm just going to click on this first layer now. Then I will hold Ctrl and Shift on my keyboard. Then I will click on this last layer. Once I'm done, I'm just going to press Ctrl E to merge all these layers together. I forgot to remove these pimples before applying my frequency separation. So before you apply frequency separation, you have to remove all these pimples and details from the skin. In order to start removing the pimples, you can use your spot healing brush too and just click on it and it will remove. Just left click on the pimples and it's going to remove. You can see what is happening. Left click on it and it's going to remove. Remember I told you that we are going to be using two frequency separation action for this video. We are going to be using this frequency separation 8-bit and we are going to be using this other frequency separation action. In order to start using this action, I'm just going to left click on it, then I'm just going to play it. If you play it, just allow it to load and you are going to see that it will create some layers for you. I want to explain something about this action. If you want to play this frequency separation action, this other frequency separation action, you don't need to have any layers here. Let's say for example, you have another layer apart from the background layer and you play this frequency separation action, just watch what will happen. You will see that your photo is going to become blur. The reason it is giving you this result is because of the way the action was created. It was not created for photos that have layer, let's say photos that have layer on this area. So if you have layers on this area, make sure you merge all the layers together before you play this frequency separation action. The next thing I want to do now is to click on this frequency separation action, which is the second action we are going to be using. Remember, I told you that we are going to be using two frequency separation action for this video. We are going to be using this frequency separation 8-bit and we are going to be using this other frequency separation action. In order to start using this action, I'm just going to left click on it, then I'm just going to play it. If you play it, just allow it to load and you are going to see that it will create some layers for you. I want to explain something about this action. If you want to play this frequency separation action, this other frequency separation action, you don't need to have any layers here. Let's say, for example, you have another layer apart from the background layer and you play this frequency separation action. Just watch what will happen. You will see that your photo is going to become blur. The reason it is giving you this result is because of the way the action was created. It was not created for photos that have layer, let's say photos that have layer on this area. So if you have layers on this area, make sure you merge all the layers together before you play 
this frequency separation action. If you have a layer on the photo, let's say you are working on another layer and this layer one, you can use this frequency separation 8 bit even if there's layers in your Photoshop. Now we are going to start applying this our frequency separation on this screen. Remember I told you that we are going to be using two frequency separation action and the first frequency separation action we did actually helped the skin to look better just that there are many details on the skin and we don't like these many things on the skin and it's not giving our skin that smooth results if i click on this brush and let's click on this layer max and i start applying it on this skin you can see that it is giving our photo a more smooth skin once you are done with the cheek area you can go below her mouth and apply it a little bit at this area once i'm done i'm just going to go above her lips then i'm going to reduce the flow you can also apply it a little bit on the lips if you like but i won't advise it you can see that the face is now looking better and the face is now looking amazing just watch the face and you can see the results so once we are done with this other part let's go down to her neck and apply it a little bit make sure you reduce the flow to a more average number and the best number to reduce the flow should be around 9 or 20. then once you are done reducing the flow paint on the neck a little bit because we don't want her body to look too smooth now if you are editing your photo you can make the face to look smooth but when you are editing the body just make sure that there are details on the body so your photo is not going to look fake so just make sure you reduce the flow and you apply it a little bit once i'm done we are going to smooth this section of her body and you can see that i also made mistake at this area so i'm just going to make sure that my foreground color is black and once it is black i'm going to remove that mistake let's increase the flow and let's remove the mistake you can see that the photo is now looking better we are done with the skin and as you can see the skin is now looking better than before this is the best way that you can use to smooth the skin using action click on this high frequency details layer and hold ctrl and shift then you left click on the layer one layer then you press ctrl e on your keyboard and the photo is now looking better we have been able to smooth the skin using actions remember you can reduce the opacity if you like let's just reduce the opacity to be around let's say 75 and let's match the two layers together let's look at the before and the after for all what we have done on this photo this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after let's zoom in the photo this is the before and the after let's zoom to the body this is the before and this is the after now let's look at everything this is the before and the after and as you can see the photo is now looking amazing and the photo is now looking better and if you want to get this amazing actions all you have to do is contact dirty studio on instagram and if you contact me on instagram and you make payment i'll be able to send you this amazing actions to your email address and once you download it and install it you'll be able to improve your photos to make your photo look amazing and to look more nice and we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching if this video was very helpful to you subscribe for more videos turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out.